Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And I'm back again with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure for you. So if you're new to the channel, I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. That's what I love to do. If you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, chances are you'll like my channel. So I would invite you to hit that subscribe button. But I'm also on the lookout for G.I. Joe classifieds at Ross. As you guys know, this line of toys has been hitting Ross and all the toy hunters are talking about it. You can get these Joes for like $5.99, which is way better than the $25 they're charging at Target for them. And I'm really excited about it, especially since it's the Christmas season, because this is like hunting for GI Joes or like, it's like shopping for GI Joes in the 1980s. That's how cheap the prices are. And being that it is the Christmas season, I'm hoping to get some more classifieds added to the collection at this really, really cheap price. So I'm still looking for Stalker. I'm still looking for Zamot. He's been really hard to find. I have found lots of Tomax, but no Zamot. I'm also looking for Duke on the motorcycle. I'm also looking for that three pack of Vipers. So there's quite a few Joes still left on the table that I'd like to get my hands on. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray, 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 pray that those that those Ross G.I. Joe classified gods are good to me today and I can walk out of this episode with at least one or two extra Joes to add to the collection. Check it out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, gang. Let's see what we can find on the shelves. There's a shredder car from TMNT. It's a newer one, though. Anything down here? Oh, this is kind of a cool monster truck. Nothing I'm interested in, but it is neat. What else do we got on the shelves? Oh, look, this Indiana Jones whip is still here. Oh, check that out. Oh, that's cool. What do you want for that? A buck ninety-nine? I think I'm gonna grab that. That's kind of neat. I like. I can display that over one of my toy boxes. Ooh, look at this. I think this is a little woodsy's house. That's a big ass play set though. Oh, that cycle. Ooh, the crown. You're looking at the king of thrift, baby. Oh, uh, looky, looky. It's Woke Buzz. Looks like we got a Dora the Explorer lunchbox, an Angry Bird. Oh, check it out, it's that. Fortnite bus. Hey, who's this guy? Oh, he's pretty cool looking. Well, not a whole lot on the shelves, guys, but maybe we can find something in these bags. Maybe. It's been a long time since we found anything in the bags. Bag of marbles. Oh, I've dropped my marbles. I feel like this wall pretty much is just like cars and die cast. Seems to be that way almost every time. There's a Spider-Man with a little Peter Parker inside. Oh, there's another Spider-Man. We got a Hulk. Oh, that's neat. Splat ball, toss it, watch it splat. I might pick that up, that's kind of fun. Check this out. I was just looking through the VHS. This is the first time I've ever found a Masters of the Universe VHS. I just bought this over at Jaden's Toys for 10 bucks. <laughs> and I can get it for 99 cents here. I'm gonna grab it just because I've never seen one in a thrift store. This is the first one ever. How awesome is that? I think I've got Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm not 100% on that. I think I do. Gilbert Gnarly, prank phone calls. Jason Biggs, uh, Jason Biggs is funny. I liked him in American Pie. I think I'll grab that, I've never seen this movie. Not much going on at Big Texas Thrift, which was the store we were just at. I did get the splat ball, which is kind of fun. I got that. And I also got the Masters of the Universe VHS, even though I already own it. I just, like I said, I, I, I've i never seen one in a thrift store. I've never seen, seen a, a VHS of Motu, so I couldn't leave it on the shelves. I had to get it. 
just for bragging rights. I once found a VHS of Masters of the Universe at a thrift store. So anyway, real happy with the finds, even though they are small finds. But I think we need to go hit up a Goodie Will and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here at the Goodie Will, baby. What you got for me today, Goodie Will? What you got for me today? What you got for me? I hope you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks like these baseball cards are still here. Tops, they want $12.99 for that, huh? Tops, 91 complete set. I'll have to look. Have to look some stuff up to see if there's any valuable ones in the 91 top set we also got a bunch of hockey cards that we saw here last time all right let's go check the shelves so i was just sorting through these and i was looking the ken griffey card is worth about 100 bucks and i went through all the mariners and the ken griffey card is missing so whoever owned this before probably took out the valuable ones and left the cheapies in here. All right, now we get to see if there's anything on the shelves. Yeah, I ain't seeing nothing. Hey now, what's this? What's going on over here? Oh, look at this, look at all this stuff. Alien $20. Holy cow. Those things better be worth more than 20 bucks. 20 bucks for that. Are you kidding me? These are not, these are like $5 figures. First contact. I can buy this right now on eBay for $3 plus $8 shipping. Uh, also, I saw them listed for 15 and free shipping. This guy's like 10. Like, these are $5 figures. Th this one is retailing for 20 bucks, which is exactly what they have it listed at. That is just, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous highway robbery. Well, I didn't find any toys, but I did find this. I just broke my chair not too long ago, so I can pick this up for eight bucks. Oh my God, the prices, the price. So here's the thing. This Goodwill never has anything. They never have anything. They really, they, they literally have not had anything there in months and months and months. And they finally get some stuff in and they price it at 20 bucks a figure. You can buy those cheaper on eBay, by the way. So if you're in the area and you see those figures, do not buy them. Do not reward Goodwill for marking their price up and trying to rob us the way they are. I mean, they got that stuff for free. They got that stuff for free, you know? So uh, obviously didn't get the action figures. I did get that chair, uh, which I needed that. Actually, my chair, I, I fell through it. Uh, uh, long story short, I sat in it, it ripped and I fell through it. So I needed a new chair. So I got me a chair. All right, guys, let's go hit up Thrift Giant Old Thrifty Pants and see what we can find over there. All right, let's see. What do we got? Some Soldier Force. Man, these uh, shells look pretty bare. I think they just had a sale yesterday. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's supposed to be a clock. Oh, yeah, it's a wall clock. Uh, let's see. $12.91, new house, they want $16.91. I'll have to look him up. All right, so the Mill House Funko Pop, he was kind of cool, but not at that price. I mean, if he were like $2.99, I would have probably picked him up, but I ain't paying 12, 13 bucks for that, especially when that's basically what he's going for on eBay. So screw that. Uh, not much else going on here. I think it's time to switch gears and go look for some G.I. Joe classified. So let's head on over to Ross and see if we can pull out a score. Oh, looks like they're bringing new stuff out. Man, this place is a wreck. <laughs> oh, look at this Fortnite. $12.99, not a bad deal. Here's a Phantom Menace, Anakin Skywalker. Oh, check out this Power Ranger dude. 
Oh, he's cool. One of the one for him. Five bucks, maybe? Is there a price on him? Uh, oh, yeah, right there. Right there in front of my face. Five ninety nine. dollars All right, let's see. Can we find Zaymot? Looks like here's the Croc Master. Is there a Zaymot around here somewhere? We're about to find out. So far, we got a no-go, but we've got some more Ross we can check out, unless for some reason I can find one in here somewhere. It could be behind some of this stuff. I might have to dig a little bit. There's another, what's this right here? I thought that was another Power Ranger. It's Anime Heroes. Let's see, what do we got down here? We got some Funkos. Oh, look at this. I think it's Stalker. Oh, yeah. We got Stalker. All right, so I got Stalker, so I'm going to pick him up. Just got to keep looking for Zaymont. What do we got? Uh, we got Outback. Picked him up already. Oh, these are cool. They're, they're pet toys. Oh, yeah. I squeaked. Oh, here's a Tomax. Tomax. Let's see what can I hang these guys up at. Is there a Zaymont in there? There's an Outback. Tomax. No Zaymont. He must be popular. Oh, look at this guy. Digimon. Oh, what's this here? Oh, what are these like keychains? Oh no, they're just little figures. Got more over here, more out back. Hmm. What's this? Oh, just a Elite Force playset. Could this be Zaymont? No, Tomax. You know, he's such a peg warmer, but I'm tempted to get him at $5.99. Oh, that is cool, man. Zuru Metal Machines. That is pretty freaking awesome. Damn, look at this thing. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is badass. Little Minecraft diamond level Enderman. Our first G.I. Joe classified. We got ourselves a stalker. Yes, we got a stalker, baby. That's probably the only time I'll ever be excited about having a stalker in my life. So anyway, let's do some show and tell. Wow, the more of these Joes I'm adding, the more awesome they look and think about this guys i got five joes plus a crocodile and some babies for like 35 dollars and some change one of these figures alone at target is like 25 bucks i mean croc master alone was 42 dollars at walmart 42 dollars for and for less than $42, like $35, I don't know, maybe with some tax, maybe 38 bucks. I've got five Joes sitting in front of me. It's just freaking awesome. Stalker looks great, man. He's got like lots of accessories that come with him, which is really cool. And it's nice that he actually has like a sheath and like a holster and all that stuff. And you know, his little backpack here to carry his gun. He's got, he's got places to carry his extra clips and his weapons and all that stuff. And just a really great overall looking figure. And wow, guys, I am super stoked about this. That's one more Joe I can check off the list, but we've got a few more to find. So let's head on over to another Ross. All right, they got lots of stuff out. Oh, there's a Tomax, Tomax, Tomax. Where the hell is Zamon? <laughs> All right. We got 
some Spawn, some Mario. Man, could he be buried back in here somewhere? Uh, we don't know, maybe. Oh, there's some Halo. What we got here? We got Chubby Obi-Wan. Doesn't that mold make him look fat? I think it makes him look fat. Oh, Thor, Love and Thunder. There's Dengar. Picked him up the other day. Grogu. What do we got down here? Oh, more Thor. We got a Blue Ranger back there. What's this? Probably Croc Master, right? Yeah, Croc Master. This is about to fall over. Oh, look at this thing. It's a strike. That's cool. Yeah, it's one of those metal machine thingies. There's barbecue. Oh, check that out. I got a Mandalorian there, too. That's awesome. $3.99 for him. All right. I gotta, that's that's a no-brainer. $3.99. Come on. More barbecue. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky in here somewhere. They want for him. $14.99. Too bad they want too much for these. If they wanted like $4.99, I'd probably buy some of those. Cruella de Vil. Check these out. $3.99. Oh. Hell yeah. Bot bots, ruckus rally. Those are kind of cool. <laughs> Those things are more expensive than these. We got a Batman. I guess it's Catwoman. Oh yeah, it says Catwoman right there. Well, check that out. They even have a 3PO for $5.99. Be nice if that were $3.99, but $5.99 is a good deal. Well, check that out. Static Shock. Oh wow, they even have this two pack for $8.99. Oh, what are they asking for her? $3.99. That's cheaper than she was at Jaden's with his 50% off sale. Oh, look, they even have the Ghostbusters ghost here. Oh, look, they even have a Supermobile here. I want 10 bucks for that. That's a lot cheaper than it was at Walmart. Holy cow, I was not expecting to find Masters of the Universe at Ross. That was a pleasant surprise. And I picked a few of those figures up. I also got uh, some other figures. I got Firestar. I, I did pass on the Mandalorian. I'm really just, I don't know, just really wasn't into it, even though it was a no-brainer at $3.99. That's crazy, right? I mean, what an incredible price, $3.99. Should have probably picked him up, could have used him as a giveaway or something like that. But I left him on the shelves, but I did pick up some other toys. Let's do a little more show and tell. Here's my haul. This is incredible. I spent $12 on this plus tax, $12 plus tax. So maybe like 14 bucks total. Got He-Man for $3.99. I got them all for $3.99. A piece, Firestar, Zodak, Catra, and He-Man. This is a great looking He-Man, by the way. Man, I'm just, this Zodak is really cool too. But I can't believe it, man. The, the, Ross is making Christmas possible. <laughs> that should be their tagline. Hey, Ross, if you're listening and you decide to use that, throw your boy a little something, something. Ross, we make Christmas possible. Man, guys, this you got to get to Ross. You got to get to your Ross if you've got one nearby. The deals are insane. Go in looking for Joe's. Come out with some Masters of the Universe. Man, wasn't really expecting that. But again, another pleasant surprise. Let's go hit up another Ross. We got some more Joe's to find. All right. 
Here we are, Ross inside the mall. Hopefully we can find a Zaymont. Got lots of stuff out here in the middle of the floor. There's some stuff back in the corner too. What's that? Oh, Roblox. Oh, that's a cool little setup. Battle Pioneer. All right, let's see if we can find something on the back wall. Hmm. What's this? Ah, oh, Tomax. Damn it. Where the hell is Zaymot? Oh, there's the Emperor. I picked him up the other day. Oh, there's a Vader. What's this guy's name? Morloon. It's like a Dracula looking figure. What oh, we got here? The fifth brother. Oh, uh, let's see. We got Tomax. Tomax, Tomax. Nothing but Tomax, Crockmaster. Anything back behind there? No. We got a green arrow. Reverse Flash. Got an Iron Man, Darwin. Oh, maybe we'll get lucky on the shelf here somewhere. Oh, man. There's a demon way back there. What's this thing? It's like a statue. Man, I can't believe it. Not a single Zaymot in all the stores we went to. I think that's all the same guy. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice Hot Wheels Batmobile. Got some more Fortnite here. Oh, he's a cool looking figure. So we got busted at this particular Ross location. They definitely had some things on the shelves. And that's the thing, like the more and more I'm hunting for these classified, the more other stuff I'm seeing that is just freaking awesome. I mean, they, this Ross is really stacked up this Christmas season. So if you haven't been to a Ross in your local area, you need to get over there and get you some because like the this, this stuff they're putting out on the shelves is just freaking amazing. So busted here, but I think we'll switch gears again and head back to the thrift store and see if we can find something there. So let's head on over to the Goody Wheel. All right, gang, we just arrived at Goody Wheel number two. <laughs> what you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully they got something good because I'm in the mood for some vintage toys. How about you guys? Oh, check this bad boy out. Ten bucks for that. Dang. Oh, this has got to be a new one, right? Yeah, this can't be the old one. I mean, it could be, but it looks pretty new. It's got to be a prior uh, date on it somewhere. Oh yeah, 2013. Huh. Oh, wow, they went $7.99 for that. Oh, there's a uh, wrestler. Oh, look. It's the mystery machine. And it actually has a, a shaggy in it. Oh, it's got Daphne and Velma and Scooby. It just doesn't have Fred. All right, I'm going to grab that. Oh, there's a Casey Jones. A reaction figure. Pretty sure that's reaction. That's cool. And I have no idea who this guy is. Wow, look at this. Big old Tonka truck. That is pretty cool. I bet you that's worth a little something, but not something I'd be interested in and getting the flip because can't ship it and Facebook Marketplace kind of sucks. No, well, they got more He-Man stuff over here. 10 bucks, 8.99 for short round. Well, check those out. These look like they're actually like autographed. Well, looky, looky. Now, it wasn't vintage, but it was close to vintage. It was 
more retro, I guess. But we got the TMNT party wagon. I got a little Casey Jones. I ended up getting the mystery machine, which by the way, one of my subscribers, Eddie Hill. Eddie, if you're watching, I know that you've been saying for like over a year now that you are looking for a mystery machine. And if you would like this mystery machine with the figures, I would like to gift it to you. So you can send me an email at 80s Toys Rock. I'll put it up on the screen here. Send me an email with your address, Eddie, and I'll ship it out to you. So uh, let's do a little show and tell. You're looking at two of the most iconic vans in all of cartoon television history. The TMNT Party Wagon and the Mystery Machine. Check it out. So uh, the gang is missing Fred. I think I might have an extra Fred around here. So Eddie... If, uh, if I can find the Fred, I will include him in the package when I send this to you, if you want it. Uh, but if I can't find him, he will not be in the package. So, but man, how cool is this? Oh, the mystery machine. It's not very often you find this machine with, uh, with all the figures. Well, most of the figures anyway. Like I said, we're missing Fred. But yeah, this thing is awesome. And then I ended up picking up the party wagon, the party van, and I got the Casey Jones, the Super 7 reaction figure. They gave them to me for a dollar. He didn't have a price tag on them. I picked up these figures at that this exact same Goodwill that I found this van at. I found them about a week and a half ago. I actually didn't have my camera, my phone with me at the time, so I didn't get to film me finding these but here are some TMNT figures that I found in the last week or week and a half or so so but man how awesome guys talk about scoring at the goodie wheel all right gang we got one more stop for the day we're gonna head on over to thrift giant old thrifty pants and see if we can't finish strong all right what do we got Got a big old Zord down there. Oh, whoa. You never see these with the weapons, ever. I almost have to get that, just because you, you, you never see them with the weapons, ever. And like, in all the years I've been thrifting, I have never seen it with the weapons. I'm kind of jazzed up about that. All right, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, looky, looky, it's our boy Buzz. We got like a T-Rex. He probably growls. Let's see if my big fat hand can get in here. Well, I think he's supposed to growl, but the batteries sound weak. Hmm. I don't know if that's like a Action Man or Max Steel. I'm not exactly sure. Oh wow, this nativity scene is still here it was here like a couple of weeks ago they're probably asking too much for it is there a sticker on it somewhere oh yeah 25 bucks yeah probably too much all right hey you know what i consider that a semi-strong finish because you never ever ever see that shell with the weapons ever and i picked it up let's take a little closer look at it well here it is here it is I can't believe it actually has its weapons with it. That's just insane to me because, I mean, I have probably found 30 or 40 of these shells over the last three years. They used to be around all the time. I haven't found them as much lately, but they used to be on the on the thrift store shelves a lot when I first started thrifting and recording my adventures three years ago. And in all that time, I've never found one with the weapons. So I think this is pretty awesome and it's gonna look great with the rest of my TMNT collection. All right, gang, that wraps up another fun and exciting episode. I hope you had fun. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.